What's up? Hey, Rob. Rob, nobody's really surprised that the media has a bias, are they? Well, I, you know, I think the media has a bias a lot of different ways. One is that I think it's biased towards um, power and the establishment in Washington, D.C. Um, but, I, you know, th what really bothers me is Fox uh, being so biased and so pro-Republican uh, that uh, you, you can't really watch it and, and look for news on Fox. You can see criticisms of liberals on MSNBC. They went after Harvey Weinstein and they went after, um, you know, uh, John Conyers and others uh, pretty hard on CNN and MSNBC. But Fox, uh, if, if any of their Republican, uh, uh, the people that they love on the Republican Party do something evil, Fox will barely mention it. So, Russell, thanks a lot. Thanks for your phone call. Uh, hey, Rob. Yeah, go ahead. Well, what you just said is not factually correct. Okay, tell me what. It, well, people do do, do data-driven studies of what these networks cover and how they cover it. What you said is not supported by the data. Well, I, I, I was quoting PolitiFact. What, what would you quote? What, 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 uh, just just uh, uh, give us a, a data-driven uh, survey uh, that you rely on that says that Fox is factual. Just tell us, tell us where we can find that study. Rob, you're making a blanket statement. No, Russell, just tell us, you know, where, uh, uh, what Fox reports is factual or has a better job of reporting the facts uh, then does the New York Times and CNN. About the fact. All right, well, just, just tell us where we can find this report that says that Fox uh, does a better job in reporting the facts than does the New York Times or CNN or MSNBC. Will you let me make my point? I'm trying to. All right. You can be factually correct and it's still propaganda. Well, well tell us, <laughs> Russell, you're, you're dancing around this. and Let me give you one more chance. I cited a report in PolitiFact that said that the least factual network was Fox News. So if you've got a data-driven report that shows that Fox News is the most factual network, tell us what the source is. So I gave you a report. I'll email it to you, too. It's a 2014 report from PolitiFact. You tell me where there's a factual uh, study of Fox News that where it comes out on top. All right, so well, 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 you, just, you just said that. That's how you opened up. You opened up by saying uh, that there is a, uh, uh, that Fox News is factual. Why? Okay, so. I like that. I'm sorry? Do you have a liberal bias? No. I've got a bias, I've got a bias, I've got a bias towards social justice and human rights and peace and equality, which is the mission of MNF. You, okay, so are you telling me that WMNF does not lean left. I'm saying that we have a bias towards peace, social justice, equality, human rights, and the environment. That's what we stand for. That's always been what MNF stands for. We safeguard those things. So when uh, some liberals started to say that the war in Iraq was a good idea, we pointed out that they were wrong. Okay. Well, why don't you just admit that you? Your... Russell, you 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 haven't you don't have the study. You're dancing around, you're wasting time, we've got every other line lit and people can't get in because you're dancing around. Russell, next time, if you say you've got a study, tell, tell us where that study can be found, okay? Russell, thanks a lot. Great to hear from you. Russell, thanks. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry we ran out of time, but uh, there's another call in. Hi, Rob, Betty from Sarasota. I just want to commend you on your comments vis-a-vis -vis what the radio station stands for when you're speaking with Russell, who was the last caller today on Monday. And um, I thought you were way too patient and way too kind, and you gave him way too much time, given what little he had to offer the station. Um, I so love your program, and the station is truly incredible. It's one of my lifelines in this area. And so I just want to thank you for all the good that you do. And it's very true. I occasionally listen to Fox News. And then after about two minutes, I literally have to run to the bathroom just because they do not address any of the evil, as you appropriately stated, anything and everything that Trump has ever done uh, from the access Hollywood tapes to everything he's done, they never address.
his best friend, Sean Hannity, does nothing but extol the virtues of this absolutely terrible criminal we have in the White House. So, again, thank you, and I look forward to hearing more. And you also played a tape of someone who made some suggestions last Wednesday.